Hey, Sweet Heat fam. Today I'm making baked cream of chicken wings. Stay tuned. I'm starting off with chicken wings I bought at Publix. I usually ask them to cut the tip part of the wing, but I don't know, I just decided to keep them on. Pour some lemon juice and cold water in a bowl and let it sit for about 10 minutes or so. And then I like to go back and make sure I'm getting every part of the wing clean. And during this process, I pluck all the feathers out and I cut some of the excess skin that's on there. For the seasonings, I don't measure, but don't worry because your chicken will turn out just fine. So I'm starting off with garlic powder. I was running out of it, so you'll see me trying to shake what I had left. And then I'm just gonna go in with some onion powder. Y'all know onion powder and garlic powder is like the staple of seasonings. And then I'm putting in Complete Seasoning by Badia, Badia. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing it right. And then I'm going in with some organic smoked paprika. And then the seasoning that's going to change your life, the onion and soup dip mix by Lipton. Don't be alarmed by it being a soup mix. It gives the chicken so much flavor, I promise. At the end, I'm just going to pour a little olive oil on the chicken so it'll be easier to mix. And I like to rub the seasoning into the chicken. Refrigerate the chicken for about an hour or overnight to let it marinate. I forgot to add minced garlic, so I'm just going to add about a tablespoon or so. Next, I'm going to use two cans of Campbell's Cream of Chicken. Now, I love gravy, so that's why I use two cans. You can use one if you're not going to make as much chicken. I mix mine together to make sure the chicken is fully coated in the cream of chicken. You'll see me placing the chicken in the glass pan. I try to keep the tip of the wings underneath the other chicken because that part will burn quicker. And then I'm gonna pour what's left in the bowl and then add some vegetables to it. It's gonna be frozen because I actually forgot to put the vegetables in the chicken, but that's okay. Next, place foil over the baking dish and set your oven to 350 degrees and bake it for two hours untouched. After two hours, this is what the chicken is looking like, but it's not ready yet because you want that brown and crisp top. So use a spoon without holes, unlike me, and bake your chicken with the gravy. 
I put it back in the oven uncovered for about 20 minutes so that it can get brown. So this is the outcome of the chicken. It was super tender, super flavorful. The ones that follow me on Instagram, y'all know I make cream of chicken all the time. I love it. But as always, please like, comment, and subscribe so that I can make more videos for y'all. I really appreciate getting to a thousand subscribers. Yeah! And thank you so much for watching my videos.